All right, people, welcome back to Zombie and Y, and welcome to the deck profile for Zombie Vice Evil. So I decided I'm taking Zombie Vice Evil off of Zombie Y. I mean, it's really not even a Evil deck. It's more just a zombie deck with Evil tossed in that only has synergy with Zombie World. So, you know, there's some decks on Zombie Y that are just like, yeah, full on, like, all right, Evil. And then some of them are just kind of Evil tossed in, but still have some kind of synergy. This one is absolutely, the Evil just gets in the way of this deck. And I decided, he's like, you know what? This isn't even Evil deck. This is better, even better just a zombie deck. So I'm gonna start going, doing the deck profile, go over the deck, and I'm just gonna pretty much just change the deck into uh, pretty much a zombie deck <laughs> as uh, the video progresses. So uh, let's just go ahead and get it started. So uh, starting it off, of course, we'll have Ebel. It's supposed to be Ebel deck, even though it's not. So uh, Ebel's really not necessary. So you might as well just go ahead and take it out because you don't need Ebel. You know? This is just a, pretty much a zombie turbo synchro deck of just, you know, Supervised proportions, so you really don't need that card. It's really not that necessary. Of course, this deck is focused around ill blood, so you run. You only need one, just like Dean Shaman, you know, unless you get bottomless, but you really don't need that many. I type one Dark Refer just for the number generator. You know, uh, you really don't need Dark Refer as much in this deck because you have a uh, Unizombie who can uh, discard from your hand. But I was just running him just for, you know, extra. But you really don't need him, so. You know. You know, especially since you took Evel out, you really don't need Dark Ruffer because you don't even have that many uh, monsters to piss express them. And the only one you got left is Illblood, so you don't really don't need that. Armageddon Knight, he's extra sending along with Unizombie, so I'd probably say keep him. Uh, Summoner Monk, because, you know, you do have lots of spells that you can clearly see. So, you can pitch to special summon, you know, you could pass summon Mizuki, Ixi, or Armageddon Knight to get that additional send. So, uh, there you go. You know what, I'd say, you know what, you should probably keep him one Dark Ruffer. Probably keep him one Dark Greffer, just because you can, if Unizombies, I mean, if Ill Blood's in your hand and you have Summoner Monk, you can just go Summoner Monk, Pitch a Spell, Summon Dark Greffer, because you can't Summon Unizombie because he's not level 4, he's level 3, so, and then you could discard the Ill Blood, because it might be in your hand. Uh, one Plague, you could probably win multiple Plagues, you know, it's uh, pretty up to you, but, you know, Plague was pretty much just supposed to be the zombie, supposed to be, you know, Doom Shaman, Tinker, Ill Blood, Plague Spreader, simple as that. Unizombie, he's the new card from the deck. Uh, you know, he's really good. You can go ahead and uh, target effects of monster on the field and then, you know, this card to increase its level. But then also you can send a zombie monster from your deck to your graveyard to go ahead and increase this monster's level by, to increase the monster's level by one. But um, then only zombie monsters can attack. So uh, pretty much you get to go ahead and send Mizukis. So Mizuki gets you more summoning. You know, it's pretty much the why this deck was made because of Unizombie. But uh, Triple Mizuki, special summoning. Uh, one zombie world, but you don't really need it because everybody that you play with is a zombie. Uh, Rota, you probably don't need triple Rota, but I was probably running it just for consistency means because you know you get all your sending and then you get to start summoning. So um, I probably don't mind this still. You know, if push comes to sub, you can always just pitch it for summer monk. So I'd probably keep this at three, probably you know, just for the consistency means of sending. Uh, one Foolish, because more sending. Swing, Silent Doom, and Book of Life. I don't like Book of Life as much. I would probably cut this card down to two, because, you know, early game, uh, you know, you get this card, and if your opponent doesn't have any monsters in the very you can't even fucking use it. So, I was having definitely a problem with this card, so I'd probably cut it down to two. It's good, but it's not that good. Uh, of course, Supervise. Uh, Insta Fusion, because Insta Fusion has pretty good play, of course. Let's go ahead and just make this as sacky as possible and just throw in some freaking Nodens, because Noden is the best. Yeah. You know, there you go. So Noden. Uh so you you can go like Insta Fusion, Noden, Noden, summon like Armageddon and IDC, or you can, you know, and go and talk at Emerald. Yeah, you can go Insta Fusion, Noden, Noden, summon Armageddon and Iron Mizuki or whatever, any level four. Uh, XC summon into Emerald. Emerald deep type summon back ill blood. Use your normal summon for effect because you know you haven't used your normal summon. So you summon back plague, plague, synchro summon into Beals or whatever. So literally, you can turn an insta fusion into another one of your revival cards. So there you go. You also go Noden, uh, Noden summon back uh, Unizombie, and then Unizombie increase your level, and then synchro summon with it. So I guess in that sense, Zombie World might not be bad, but it's just not really necessary. So that's really up to you. Supervised, because of course this is zombie vice, so you gotta run supervised. And then right of crazy, you don't really need any traps, so just fuck up your opponent and just say, you know what, how about no back row? Uh extra deck. I ran two Leo. Uh you could probably run this at one. I really don't even 
Excuse me, I really don't even know why I ran two. I think I decided to run two at one duel, and then I was like, all right. But really, uh, pretty much the play is like, you know, ill blood, ill blood, summon back, um, unit zombie, unit zombie, go ahead, increases level to four by sending a zombie, specifically Mizuki. And then you go ahead and synchro summon, because six, this will be four, and two at ten, which will be Leo. Two Bills, because Bills is pretty much like one of the main cards of this deck, because, you know, Plague. Void Ogre, in case you have more cards in your hand. Two Scrap. I prefer two Scrap, because you can, you can go double Scrap and then just both of them target the build to blow up two cards. So, uh, Hot Red. Go ahead and Hot Red it up. Pretty good. Exton. Uh, this would probably be Castell instead of 101. I kind of like 101, but uh, this would probably be Castell. Exton, Castell. Level level chain. God, 150 bucks. Woo! Emerald, and then some Nodens. So, these extra five <coughs> these extra five cards, I mean, I don't know. They could be pretty much anything you want them to be, really. You know, they could be... They can be, uh... MSTs, Soul Charge, or Geki, Snatch Steals. They could be pretty much anything that you want them to be. You know, uh, you know if you want to go ahead and, you know, increase the consistency of the deck. But the deck seems like it's fairly consistent. I mean, it, it, the deck wasn't working out terribly. It just really wasn't a build deck, you know. That's the reason why I got taken off, because it really just wasn't about that. So I guess we'll go ahead and throw in some Soul Charge. Throw in Regeki. Oh, Regeki. The push of the LDK. Uh, Snatch Steel's not really necessary, so I guess we'll just throw in some MSTs. No, you can... MSTs. Um, maybe you could maybe increase the plague count. Now, you could probably, you know, put a Maui engine in here, too. No? You could do that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's throw a Maui engine instead. Well, in that case, you can throw an Ultimaya. No. No, no, you can't. Never mind. You can't. Yeah, let's throw a Maui engine in here. Yeah, three Maui's. And two more Plagues. Lag. Plague. And pretty much there you go. <laughs> you know? Deck. <laughs> Deck. Actually, you probably need two plagues. Well, Dark Raffer. There you go. So one ill blood, two Dark Raffer, two Armageddon Knight, two Summoner Monk, three Plague. I mean, two Plague. Three Unizombie, three Mizuki, three Malicious. No, you know what? Mmm. Mmm. Actually, you know what? I'm trying to think. You know what? We'll cut Armageddon Knight down to two. Okay. Dark Earth for down to one. You really don't need that many. Especially since you have a uh, Unizombie. Um. Burial. Because you can go ahead and return your Mizukis, you can turn your Plagues, you can return your Mallies, so Burial, and I'll probably, I, you know, just for consistency means, I'll probably increase Plague. Because, you know, all you need to do is draw one Plague, you need to draw one Plague and have Mally in the graveyard and you can go to town. So, there you go. Um, probably cut the Leo down. Uh, you could probably throw in some Sinks. Sixes in here, like Goyle Garden or something, because you can go like Noden, Noden summon like Plague, Plague Sink, you know, maybe some more eights. You could, you could do a lot with this, you know. This deck is, see, I already rearranged it to be just a kind of Sink Zombie deck without even Yubel, so this deck doesn't even really need Yubel. Probably put a Goyle. Nah, that looks fine. You really don't even need the Nodens, to tell you the truth, but. Nodens are kind of clogging your extra deck. You could probably fit in some more sinks if you didn't have the insta fusion and the nodens and stuff. That might be best, but you know. yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's let's take out Noden. Let's take out Noden. So uh, let's get some more sink eights. Maybe some more sink. You can't really can't go into Goyo anymore. I mean, kind of you can, but. Nah. 
More eights. Another Beals. Um, be like a. Let me see the sun fades. Look at me. I'm just sitting here doing this video while making a deck. Let me see more eights. Oh, I should probably put some gross. So go. Let me see some more sun fades. What does it say? No. It's not really necessary. You really don't need this, but you could. You could probably want like one of these. Maybe like one of these. Kind of like these two. They're not the main ones that you go into. They're not terrible either. Uh, excuse me. Um. Anybody else? Yeah, I guess technically you, but you haven't been as good lately either. Uh. I don't know. Maybe another hot. I have no idea. What's up? Alright. Uh, sure. Go ahead. I'll interrupt his deck profile. With a question. I don't even care. <laughs> if my opponent detaches brand new base grab, right? So, uh, yes. 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 Detaches cost. So even if you go, even if skill drain is on the field, All right. All right. He goes. Graph of. All right. Hold on. Hold on a second. Dante effect. Detach. Response. Activate. Activate Dante effect to mill. Detach. And then you select how many mill. It depends. It, it depends on when Dante. How Dante works. Effect. No. You can respond to the mill. Yeah. So you can go. Some Dante effect. Detach. Response. Chain, uh, Infernoid. So, Chain would resolve backwards. Infernoid would banish the graph. Then Dante would mill. I, I don't think so. Uh, graph wouldn't be in grave when it uh, when it is time to, uh, start a separate chain. Because he would, Graph would go off after the, the resolution of Dante, but he wouldn't be in the graveyard anymore at the time. Because it goes, Dante, detach, mill, and then the monster that you detached and the monsters that you milled would get their effects in a separate chain after Dante has resolved, but because that's how it worked, and it wouldn't be in the graveyard at the separate chain of the resolution. God, you guys complicated. <sighs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, um, I don't know. I mean, I mean, it really doesn't matter. You can just throw in whoever. But like I said, I, I'm just trying to prove a point that uh, this is deck really doesn't need to be, uh, you know, uh, a Ubel deck, as you can clearly see. So, we'll just go ahead and increase the consistency just to make sure, you know, just to make sure this deck is consistent as possible. There we go. There we go. So, there we go. There's, there's the deck remade. <laughs> So it doesn't even need Yubel. Look at all the things I could have done differently if Yubel wasn't in there. Definitely just like a whole nother deck, you know? I don't need to talk about I'll put in another Book of Life. Even though I said that it's kind of clunky, I'd still rather have it as revival. There we go. Huh. Could probably run more tens too, because, you know, Zombie could kind of combo with Mali as well. It's up to you. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Go ahead and put another Leo. Actually, isn't there like another level 10 guy? But I, I still prefer Leo over all level 10 synchros. Not being able to be targeted except in any phase 2 is just really nice. And being a 32 leader is just whoo. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. There you go. So, I changed the deck around right here on, on video. So, that's the reason why you really don't... Zombie Vice isn't really a thing. So, anyway. I hope that you guys enjoyed this deck profile and the changes. 
So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys with another Vibe and Wife. We were actually going to be adding in uh, Labrador email to the lineup on Saturdays. Alright guys, thanks for watching.